Hello everyone, and welcome to another Invasive Species episode, where today we'll be taking a look at yet another ornamental plant that people planted in their gardens, and unfortunately, it didn't stay there. This plant is called Jetbead, and it is non-native here in North America, and it is a bit of a problem species, as, well, it's a very bushy plant that tends to like to get established in a forest's understory, like it is currently doing here. Like a lot of invasive species, this plant tends to form in large clusters and sort of crowds out other species of native plants. This is called a monoculture, and it's usually a good warning sign that a plant you're looking at might be invasive. This can make things extra difficult for native tree saplings, which have a hard enough time as it is, if they get shaded out when they're young, they can't grow, and then suddenly these native tree species can't survive. Now, identifying this plant based on its leaves or bark is a little difficult. As you can see, the leaves are pretty standard, a little more jagged than most other leaves, but not too much of an identifying characteristic. Although if you see the other identifying characteristics and the leaves look different, maybe you've got the wrong plant. And the bark is more of the same. It's just like a standard rough bark. You know, you'll see bark like this on many different trees, and it's really not much to go off of. When it comes to the flowers and seeds, however, identification is quite a bit easier. The flowers are white, they have four petals, and I'd say they're about like an inch across, so they're reasonably big. And if you're a little late for the flowers, or if they're still hanging around from last year on the plant, you'll see these jet black seeds, which are where the plant gets its name. Unfortunately, this plant is a little big to pull. You might be able to look at the flowers and then the leaves and then cross-identify smaller plants that you can pull. That's always an option, no matter the size of the species. But as a general rule, you're probably gonna have to go at that with some bladed tool. In my case, the only thing stopping me from taking all of these out was this video, so I could show you guys what this plant looks like and that it is, in fact, an invasive species. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed and learned something. See ya.